that's how close we were to doing it last night, guys. That's so irritating if it hadn't bugged out. Would have been one whole complete chapter. We're rescuing Boris in chapter four. This is it. Chapter four. There is no more chapters till October after this, guys. Let's do it. Let's smash it out tonight. Let's do it. And then we will, later this week, we will play some Overwatch. Back for that for a few games. And we will, I will start another horror game. One that freaks me out even more so. Archives. Definitely something missing here. Oh, man. Surprise. What a surprise that is. Boris! Holler at me, dog. Where are you at? There's lots of whisperings. And that freaky clock that I still want. Hey, Empires! Sup, buddy? What's up, man? How you doing, man? How are you? Right, it can't be that easy that I've just picked it up and we're ready to go. I'm gonna say it again, I am gonna say it again. I want that clock, guys. Empires, how are you today, man? How you doing? You're good, yeah? Sweet. He will set us free. Uh, no, no mannequins, no. And twinkly, twinkly music is a no-no. These figures look like they move. I don't like that. I don't like twinkly twinkly music. It's like if anyone's played Bloodborne. Bloodborne was scarier anyway for me, right? Yarnum was one of the scariest places ever made, ever thought of. But when you fight that boss and the prams there and the, the kid crime music and the music and stuff, no, no. Did not like that. Okay. Got another one of these. They told me I was perfect for the role. You are? Absolutely perfect. Now Joey's going around yeah, saying whatever, things scrap behind brain. closed doors. <laughs> I can always tell. Now he wants to meet again tomorrow. Says he has an opportunity for me. I'll hear him out. But if that smooth talker thinks he can double cross an angel and get away with it, <laughs> well... Oh, he's got another thing coming. Mm -hmm. Alice? Oh, she doesn't like liars. You can hear lots of creaking. Now, that isn't going to be at the entrance because that's not so secret. Uh, hello, book. So that's how it works. Oh, so that's how it works. Okay. Look for some more things. Has anyone in the stream played Blood? Oh my god. What? What's going on? What was that? Jesus. The hell that actually made my heart go. I was not expecting that. Screw you and your flashy lights. Bastards. That scared me. Oh, see, look. They're gone. Big 
picture of Bendy as well. No, I don't like. I didn't like that. Right. As I was saying, has anyone else on the stream uh, watched um, or played? Hello. Bloodborne at all? If so, did you like it? I still have not done the DLC for it. I in, I loved the game. It was one of my favourite games ever. But I still never got around to playing the DLC. Which just seems crazy considering how much I love it. Yeah, I know, Scrap. Look at the statues. I'm not impressed with that. What the hell? Where are, how am I? In the mines. The mines of Moria. Um, uh, what type of game is Bloodborne? It's like Dark Souls. Uh, just like Dark Souls, but set in a more sort of medieval, not medieval, sort of gothic area rather than sort of knights and armour. It's a sort of, yeah, sort of like, uh, sort of like an old ancient England sort of thing. Like, um... I'm even getting lag, lag on here. I hate my lack of signal. Yeah, I know you say that, man. I can get across work, here can't if I can you? find a way to fix this. Um, but yeah, it's that sort of game. It's a lot. It's a bit more action than Dark Souls. It's less like protecting behind a shield and just more attacking. Um, but it's just dark and gruesome and very, very scary. The music is awesome, and I personally think it's worth getting a PS4 for. PS4 for, you know what I mean? 100%. I know I saw it over there, but I just. Something's missing. A cog is missing. Oh no, no, oh, no, Boris was in the crate. <laughs> it's like, I knocked the crate off. End of the game, I've killed Boris. I threw him in. So that's just lifted up. Oh, so I can get to there. No, I haven't got... Okay, I've got this. Is there a setting on the machine to change what it makes? Ah! Scrap Brain. See, that's why you've got the name Brain in your title, because you're clever. See? Nicely done, mate. Nicely done. Either that or you've got Google. <laughs> But, yay, scrap brain. Thank you, Sai. I would like a cog, please. Gracias. Scrap brain, you are the best. You're better than all the rest. Yeah, I don't trust this. Stay there, Bendy.
actually nothing happened there. It just did that on purpose. It just freaked me out. That's not good. Hey, is it Aiden Therapeut? Sorry, I said that really badly. I'm going to call you Aiden. Aiden, how you doing, man? How are you today? Thanks for joining the live stream. You are a superstar. We are playing Bendy in the Ink Machine, a cartoon horror game. I don't know if you know it or have played it. Let us know if you have. How are you? Is that my 80s theme tune? I like it. <laughs> oh, God, I don't like this aisle. No way, look. Don't like it. Don't like it, guys. Um, Aiden, if you if you can, man, hit a, press the follow button. Follow us. Oh my god! What the hell? Right. No. No. Didn't happen. That did not happen. We're going straight. I see you there, my little errand boy. Hello. Your angel is always watching. That's a safe point. What is it that keeps you going? You're right, Xanathus, there is panic here. The thrill of the hunt? The thirst for your freedom? Or perhaps. You're just looking for a little friendly wolf. Yeah, I am. <laughs> Better hurry, errand boy. Boris is having trouble staying in one piece. Oh, no. If you're thinking of getting a console, what does a stream think I should get? Xbox One X or PS4? That's a difficult one, mate. Um, Xbox One X, for the price they are, you cannot beat the graphic quality, obviously, if you've got a 4K TV. This is my, my personal opinion, but everyone else get involved in this as well. Xbox One X is amazing for its graphics um, and what power it has for it, 100%. For the price of it, you couldn't get a PC for that quality, for that price, there's no way. Um, really good, um, however, the biggest downside for me with Xbox is the lack of exclusive games. I'm a gamer, I like exclusive games, and with the up and coming exclusive games that Sony is going to be releasing, to me, no brainer, I think, the PS4 personally. With Spider Man, The Last of Us 2, um, God, what else? Um, Ghost of Tsushima. Um, yeah, there, there's just so many exclusive games coming out, and I just, I just feel that the Xbox is just lacking that for me, for the price especially. Everyone else, what do you guys think? He always bites me. Oh no! I just want to go home. When do we go home? When do we go home? Oh no, there's a bloody door to hide from the demon again. Oh look, a cup of tea. Nice. Oh, this is the Ghost of Tsushima. Last Us 2. These guys are friendly. They just want to get home like I do. What's up, guys? Stand in the oil and look like you guys. Xanafis says PS4 as well. And that's coming from Xanafis, who I believe, Xanafis, you've got an Xbox, haven't you, man? And I used to have both consoles. Um, I got rid of the Xbox because of the lack of exclusives. Uh! No. Thank you. No, thank you, plus. Uh, Xanathus says, just like Reeves, Reeves said, yeah. Hey, demon.
That didn't actually make me jump, to be fair. Yeah, I think I think that's a good argument. Like I said, the the Xbox is fantastic, a fantastic machine. I can't take it away, and and the pad's a gorgeous pad. But when it just comes down to games and exclusives, it, the PS4 just wins it for me. Hey, guys, come on. That's like a. Oh God, what was it? Um, I remember that horror game now, where they did that. Remember the char main character's name was Isaac. And it was in space. Dead space. There we go. I don't have a PS4. I'd like to, to play with friends and most of them own an Xbox yet. Come up and see me. Come up and see me. <laughs> Almost there. That was weird. That went from like a mine with all the chains and stuff to this area. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, we got another tape. For 40 years, I've built attractions that stagger the imagination. Colossal wonders such as the world has never seen. I have earned my legacy with sweat. But right in front of everyone. High-level investors, Wall Street tycoons. The ever-tactless Joey Drew introduces me, the great Bertram Piedmont, as Bertie. <laughs> like I was his child. You may be paying me, Mr. Drew, but you don't own me. I'll build you a park bigger than anything you could ever possibly conceive. But before you go taking any bows, Mr. Drew, know that this grand achievement will belong to me and to me alone. Okay. Bertram does not like to be called Bertie, so if we meet him, we must call him Bertram. But you know I'd call him Bertie, see if it pissed him off. If there was an option and a choice. Um, okay, so that opened something. Guys, can we just take two seconds just to remember that Cal B is gone to bingo tonight? Bendy hell. Bendy land, it was meant to be. Hello, are you Bertram? in. I don't know if there's a reason why I don't like this place. I don't like dolls. Right, another tape. These Wally. guys down the warehouse get to play games all day while I'm stuck cleaning up after them. They keep locking themselves out of their own back room. So I said it to a little guy that says, you're smart, right? Here's an idea. Why not make these games to knock open the door if you win? It'll be fun for you guys and it saves me the trip down here every day. They went for it like a dog to pop roast. I tell ya, if these guys don't stop realizing who the real genius is, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Okay. Weak, a man, baby, brute, and super. This haunted house seems like the way to go, but it's yeah. gonna some power. Hang in there, Boris. Hang in I'm there, coming. Boris. Tell <laughs> me. <laughs> Are you having fun? I'm sure Boris doesn't mind waiting for his rescue party. Now I feel guilty. Really? Oh, that was 
a good noise, I think. Dan, how you doing, man? Oh, no, no! I think I got it. There we go, guys. Yeah, Dan, this game is is awesome. Very, very freaky, but cool. Guys, I've got an idea what I'm going to dress up as Halloween this year. That's one. Hint, hint there. Right there on the camera. Okay. First one's pulled. Electrical power line. Where's this one leading me to? Let's follow this. Ha. Sure, those mini games will need to be played at some point. Yeah, got that. Will you dress as Alice Angel? Yes, even better idea. As Dan says, let me guess, John. Looks Cena. like I've got some company <laughs> up ahead. Without some kind of weapon, I don't stand a chance. There's got to be a way around them. Can I maybe pick up a can? Throw them, I can. Where's the switch, though, guys? Let's just go and check this up, this area up here first. What's that? Last year. Yo, I was like, uh, last year you were a super Saiyan Jedi. Sweet. <laughs> That's cool. For Halloween. Well, yeah, I'm guessing for Halloween's anniversary. Otherwise, I think if you walked around as a super Saiyan Jedi, just going to work, I think people might frown upon you. Turn up to work looking like that. I'd love it, but you'd probably get frowned upon. Okay, um, righty, so I've got to get down, looks like it's probably down that way, I reckon, so we're going to throw this can, We got another one of those things there. Uh, let's chuck the power on. 
Sometimes you can open these, even though there's nothing in them yet. That's two. Okay. This game looks insane, so different. Yeah. Oh, no, now what? This game looks so insane, so different. Yeah. If I was going to work as a Super Saiyan Jedi, I would have a bad ass job. Yeah, you would. It, would. it literally would be amazing, wouldn't it? If you could go to work dressed like that. Do you think I need to go down that way now and have a look at what's down there? Because that way's still locked for me. That's literally one of the most satisfying, responsive things I've felt in any game. be the door. It's right near the stairs. Don't mind that. Okay. Uh, so, are you Bendy or is he the bad guy? No, no, he's the he's the bad guy. Bendy. I am an artist. I think that first drew him. Okay. Now where? Again, good thinking, Scrap, mate. You are a clever little bastard, mate. You are a clever little bastard.
Yes, Scrap Brain. I did not see that axe at all, man. Well done. One guy, one left guy, one left. Right, I managed to get that one in the end. Yes, that was like the first boss, really, wasn't it? Chapter 4, and it's the first boss. That was intense. Thank you, Scrap Brain, again, mate, for um, pointing out the axe on the floor. I did not see it. One of those things of this game. I... That makes three. One to go. 